Let's now move on to the concept called as Gaussian law. So in general, the Gauss law relates the flux through any closed surface and the net charge enclosed within the surface. So you can see here how the Gaussian surface is all about indicated over here. So this law states that the total flux of the electric field that is indicated as E, you can see here, over any closed surface is considered to be equal to 1 by epsilon naught times the net charge enclosed by the surface. And this can be written in an equation that is pi equal to Q divided by epsilon naught. So this one is a closed imaginary surface that is called as the Gaussian surface. Over here this epsilon is indicating the permittivity of free space and Q over here is indicating about the charge. And it's quite known that the spy is representing the Gaussian surface. And also the Gauss law tells us that the flux of E through a closed surface yes depends only on the value of net charge. So you can see here how the net charge is defined and indicated over here over the closed surface yes. And you can see the value of net charge inside the surface and not on the location of the charges. So these charges outside the surface will not contribute to the flux. So this point which we need to consider and you can also find out how the logic has been defined over here for the Gauss law in terms of the closed surface indicated as yes.